have reached my breaking point of having to do this life thing alone. I just want to be held, nurtured, loved, cared for physically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, in all aspects. I want my heart and soul to be seen and held. I just can't do it alone anymore and I'm at my breaking point. I can do it physically alone. I've been doing it, but I don't want to. I want you to imagine a world where women took accountability. I want you to imagine a place where women held themselves accountable. Wouldn't the world be such a better place if women took accountability? My sentiments to this woman, but I'm here to tell you it's your fault. Stay tuned. <laughs> What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button on your way in, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content, you know what we're going to do. Say it with me y'all, we're going to roll that clip. I don't deserve to because I am worthy of companionship. Stop it, get some help of community, of love, of affection, of support, of someone lifting me up, motivating me, encouraging me. I am worthy of that. So I deserve to receive that. I don't want to do it alone anymore. And I've been crying all day because of it. Ladies, I want you to listen. Come, come here. I want you to listen very clearly to what I'm about to say. Because it may hurt you, but it's the truth. The reason why you're tired of being alone, the reason why you feel this way, is because to be quite honest with you, you make piss poor decisions when it comes to dating and relationships. Yep. Not only that, you choose the worst partners to procreate with and if you've been watching my videos for any amount of time i've already talked about why i've already explained the psychology behind it the statistical data behind it go back and look at my live streams because in those live streams i go through the psychology of single motherhood. The reason why so many black women have piss poor dating and relationships is because they choose to based on the example that they had growing up. Yep. So if your mother made piss poor decisions in dating, you're going to think, okay, my mom did it. So it's okay for me to do it. It's okay for my mom to make bad decisions. So I'm going to do the exact same thing that my mother did. Case in point, you have a young black woman that's growing up in a household that may be healthy, may be unhealthy, but you never see your mom get married. Do you really think that you're going to get married when marriage is not normalized in your relationship? Do you really feel that you're going to get a husband when having a husband is not normalized in your relationship? Chances are you are going to be exactly like your mother. If your mother wasn't married, chances are you're not going to get married. Chances are, if your mother was a single mom, you're going to be a single mom. You follow me? So with that being said, it leads us to believe that the reason why so many black women have piss poor decision making when it comes to relationships is because it all starts in the home. It all starts in the beginning. The beginning of your life 
as a black woman started at home. So if you had a bad role model, chances are you're going to follow after that, uh, after your mother's footsteps. This is the reason why we have so many women trying to date prisoners. What did he say? We have so many women trying to date prisoners. But yet these are the same women that say my body, my choice, body positivity. They want to be thoughts. They hate it when black men call out single mothers. But they put themselves in these situations to become single mothers. Let's be realistic. You cannot tell me that the modern woman today does not set herself up for failure. You can't say that. So when you're looking at modern women, you have to look at the failure of modern women. You have to understand that modern women have failed and continue to fail on the dating market based on their choices. You know it's bad when even the old folks are trying to school these young people. Yes. What about God might bring somebody in your life, bring your promise, and he goes through your social media because he want to know what kind of woman am I really about to get involved with? Exactly. And he see you out drunk. He see you out acting a fool. He see you out, you know, half naked with all type of men on you. And he like, hold on. This not the person I want to put on my arm. No. Because one of the things my husband did is when he started dating me, because he was in the streets and from the streets, he said, I went to the streets and checked the streets. I want to know how many of y'all know Princeton. Okay. And he didn't mean know me friendly. Okay. He okay. Said, I'm trying to figure out how many bodies she got. Okay. What's the body count? Exactly. And he couldn't find a body count. Okay. On me, baby. Okay. He couldn't okay. find no body count. That's what we're looking for. And that's the thing. And, and let me say what my, to my young ladies. Uh-uh. That's old school, baby. The names have changed, but the game is the same. Don't nobody want something that everybody done had, okay? All right. I'm just going to be there. Tell the truth. This, okay? That's why you find a car with high miles is going to be low in value. Why? Because <laughs> don't nobody want it. I don't want no 2022 car with 100,000 miles on it. No, I don't care what it do is because I ain't going to drive it because it's going to break down. Come on. Neither do I. <laughs> So when you look at society, when you look at dating, when you look at relationships, when you look at black women, when you look at black relationships, you will see a difference. The relationship between a black woman and a black man is not even the same as it was 20 to 30 years ago. It's not even the same today. So when you look at black women, you have to understand that right now they are failing in the dating market because of themselves. It's not because black men. It's not because of their parents. It's not because of society. It's because of their own self. Granted, yes, your home life, your upbringing, your parents or lack thereof has a contributing factor to your dating and relationships when you get older. We're not doubting that. What we're saying is after a certain age, you should be able to say, you know what? Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm not single by choice. Maybe it's just me that's creating me being single. Maybe it's not me being single because I can't find a man. Maybe it's because I'm not a good candidate for a man. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's not men. Maybe it's me. And it's okay, ladies. One of the first steps to healing and moving on is realizing that you have an issue. The issue is you. The accountability starts with you. You can't drop it like it's hot and shake your tail feather on the internet and expect a high quality good man to take you seriously out here on the dating market. They're not going to. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell that will let you know 
every time I upload content. And until the next video, peace.